The German-born pontiff, Benedict XVI, is due to execute a state visit to the United Kingdom from September 16th to the 19th, 2010. Newspapers and the internet have highlighted the escalating abuse scandals involving the papacy that could have possibly threatened Benedict's role as Pope, let alone his visit. However, on March 16th, the Pope confirmed the dates. The engagement is carded to culminate with a massive public mass in Coventry at which the pontiff will be edified the venerable John Henry Newman. The Pope will be performing the second stage of the English Cardinal's path to sainthood. In 1991, Newman was declared venerable the first stage of the process of becoming a saint. Newman's cause for sainthood has found favor with several post-war popes, not the least of which is the present Pope Benedict XVI, who was the former Cardinal Ratzinger and has long been devoted to Newman and very much influenced by his theology. According to the Times newspaper religious correspondent Clifford Longley, Newman was famously said to have certainly written the agenda of the Second Vatican Council from the grave. Longley also predicted that Newman would become the first ecumenical saint. Archbishop Vincent Nichols of Westminster, president of the Bishops' Conference of England and Wales, told a March 16th press conference in London that to see Cardinal Newman declared blessed, a step toward sainthood, would be a very, very important moment. He also stated that Cardinal John Henry Newman is a towering figure in English history over the last 200 years and that Pope Benedict has a particular attentiveness to the writings of Cardinal Newman. I would now like to ask Richard Bennett and Michael DeSemlian to analyze what Newman believed and perseveringly taught, together with what the Vatican hopes to achieve in his beatification on the path toward his canonization. But Richard, can you begin by telling us why it is so important for us to know and understand 